Hey YouTube and Vinyl Community. So uh, today I thought I'd do a, a tutorial on um, digital downloads. And once you get the digital download to your computer, um, there's a couple options for you that'll help you uh, transfer it to your mobile device um, quickly and easily and conveniently. Um, so I'm going to be using uh, the new Metallica digital download I got with my um, box set, which uh, the new album Hardwired. Um, for those of you who um, purchase vinyl new pretty regularly, you know that a lot of these come with da uh, download cards. I always take advantage of using this because, you know, you may not listen to it um, all the time digitally because if you're buying it on vinyl, your preference is probably to listen to it on that. But, um, you know, take advantage of these download cards. Don't just let them go to waste because, I mean, at some point you're probably going to utilize that. <clears throat> and um, if you're uh, not sure what that is, as far as people who don't know, a lot of times uh, newer albums specifically will come with the vinyl record of the album and then they'll come with a little, little code. Kind of like the you know, Blu-rays come with digital movies now. You know, but it'll come with a little code and it'll let you download the digital version. So that's what I did here with Metallica. And what's nice about this is this Metallica um, digital download not just didn't just come with the album, but it came with all of these extra live tracks. So a uh, nice little bonus to it and i um, pretty excited to check these out. So anyways, when you download these cards, or when you get these cards, you just follow the card instructions. There's usually going to be a website it tells you to go to. Uh, you enter the code. Sometimes it wants an email address, <clears throat> and you download the file. A lot of the times it's going to be a zipped file or a file that you're going to have to extract. Um, so what will happen is you just extract the file, and it will come out like this, similar to this. So I've got a folder now with Hardwired Deluxe. What I did is I, um, in the download folder where, is, where I actually downloaded the um, digital download from the website it just goes automatically into my download folder and um, I created an upload folder uh, for this tutorial and the reason why is I, I kinda made a folder that's I can dump all the music I want to dump into one folder and that way I can add the one folder and it'll load everything that's in that folder so if you have like three or four digital downloads and you extract them all to this upload folder or whatever you want to name it um, when you're ready to upload it into iTunes or Google um, you can just do the one folder and it'll it'll do all of the songs in that folder instead of having a bunch of little folders or subfolders so anyways so uh, we'll do iTunes first is probably the easiest so um, I've got hardwired again extracted into the upload folder um, I'm gonna open iTunes and uh, again I'm, I'm uh, using Windows 10 for this tutorial if you have a Mac um, I'm not sure about the Google Play version of this, but um, I would imagine the um, iTunes on the Mac is very similar. But you'll go to File and Add Folder. And then again, I'm going to go to the Uploads folder, which is where I have the music stored, and there it is. Now again, if I had a whole bunch of music stored in this spot, I could just click the upload folder and click select folder and it'll literally add everything, which I could do that right now. I'll just do select folder. And boom, there it is. It's going to add everything in there that I just uh, had. And now I can listen to uh, any of these songs <clears throat> and add them to my iTunes playlist um, whenever I want to transfer it to my iPhone. And just like that, I've got these songs on my iPhone. So that's pretty simple. Um, one thing I like, and I use this more than uh, I use iTunes, I use iTunes more primarily for myself on my computer and organizing my music on my computer and having playlists and, you know, making mixed CDs and things like that. But let's move over to Google. So Google, I actually use on my phone and, um, I upload all my music to my Google Play, like, cloud drive and, that gives me the option to stream it wherever I'm at, and then if I want to download it to my phone, you know, wirelessly, I can do that instead of having to connect it to the computer. So in order to do that, you'll want to download the Music Manager, and it'll pull up this window. 
And what I always do is I, I've already added an upload folder, but I'll, let me delete this here. So I'm gonna like start all the way over here. So let's change the location of music collection. Okay, so likely when you first open it, it's gonna give you a window similar to this. And what you're gonna wanna do is it's saying, where do you keep your music collection? And then I do specifically, I hit other folders and then add folder and then go to your uploads and you can literally just click on upload select folder and it'll have the uploads here now it's seeing the 26 songs that are in there right now so what happens you hit next 26 songs found in the selected folders click next again. Do you want to automatically upload songs that you had to select the folders? I I like to do mine manually, but if you like to automatically upload songs, so basically every time you drop something in that folder, it'll automatically upload them. That's up to you. Um, I choose no here, but um, again, that's there's no real wrong answer. And then it just tells you that what's going to happen is it's going to drop itself down into your, um, into your task bar, and it'll be down there running in the background for you. So now it's going to prepare music, and it usually, depending on how much music you have in this um, this area, it can take uh, several minutes, so be patient with it. Um, so it's telling me now the music is being added, and I, if I go to Music Player, it's going to take me online to where the Google Play uh, Player is at. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to close it, and then I'm going to open the music manager out here close that out and you pull it up and it will literally have every now I've already I've already done this so it's it's see zero new songs but it'll start you'll see it down here there'll be a little taskbar and it'll excuse me taskbar it'll have a little a bar here showing you progress and it'll tell you how many songs have been uploaded. See, this one's already completed, so it's up there. So now when I go on to, let's go to the music player. When I go on to the music player here, I have the music from this digital download up there. And I can literally pull this open on my phone and stream it and download it. And it makes it really nice. So... Uh, I recommend that for any of your digital downloads because it just gives you another dimension uh, to take your music and do whatever you want. Um, no, I think at this point it's going to make me sign in, so I'll just let it right here. But <clears throat> if this would load my Google Play Music, it would show the album, the hardwired album, uh, available for me to listen to.